telencephalon. So the telencephalon portion is part of the hindbrain, correct? No, the forebrain. forebrain. So the forebrain would be pretty much this area here. And it has two different areas on it, which one is the telencephalon, which is this part of the brain. And then we also have the, the diencephalon, which is this portion of the brain right here. That's your diencephalon, and this is your telencephalon portion of the forebrain. Cranial meninges. The cranial meninges, I believe, is part of the dura mater, which kind of goes over the brain. So it would be kind of like this. So it's, it's pretty much the dura mater, that's the cranial meninges. And then on the dura mater itself, you have the, the superior sagittal uh, sulcus, which goes along the um, Longitud longitudinal cerebral fissure. Cerebral hem hemispheres. So the right. cerebral hemispheres are these two right here, divided by the cere uh, cerebral longitudinal fissure. Okay. Cerebral gyri fissures and sulci. So the cerebral gyries are these folds right here. These are the cerebral gyries. The the sul sulcus are these little grooves right here, and the fissures. Are, th are pretty much this big groove in between it. Okay. Um, you already did the longitudinal cerebral fissure, lateral sulcus, and the central sulcus? No, I haven't done the no. lateral sulcus. So the lateral sulcus, it's not really defined that well here, but it would be like this portion of it right here that would be like your lateral sulcus, dividing your your uh, frontal frontal lobe from your, your temporal lobe okay. and the and the parietal lobe, so it kind of goes like this. That'll be your lateral uh, sulcus. Kind of where your um, temporal. Yeah, pretty much outlining your temporal temporal lobe of the brain. Okay, and then the um, lobes. You kind of just went over that. But so the lobes we have. This is the frontal lobe. This is a, did we go over the central fish, uh, central sulcus? sulcus. Mm -hmm. So this portion right here would be like the central sulcus. It's not that defined, okay. but it would divide the frontal lobe from the parietal lobe, and then we also have the occipital lobe mm -hmm. back here and the temporal lobe. Okay. Basal ganglia. Let's skip that one because you need a frontal cut of that. Right lobe. from a frontal section and skip all the subparts too. Yes. Corpus callosum. So the corpus callosum on a sagittal cut would be uh, this uh, this area above the lateral ventricle. This is your lateral ventricle, mm -hmm. so the corpus callosum would be this portion of the brain right here. Okay. Septum pellucidum. Septum pellucidum is this membrane-like uh, portion of the brain right here that separates the lateral ventricles. That's your septum pellucidum. All right. Lateral ventricles. Is lateral the ventricles, like we mentioned, is this portion of the brain right here. Lamina terminalis. <laughs> Lamina terminalis, I believe, is above the optic chiasm, which is this, it's a membrane, membrane uh, like, so it's pretty much like a thin membrane, uh, and it's above the lamina or the the optic chiasma, so this would be like the lamina terminalis. Terminalis, okay. Anterior commissure. So the, ap the so the lamina terminalis comes off the op optic chiasm mm -hmm. and connects with the anterior um, commissure, which joins the optic chiasm and the corpus callosum. So this would be right here, the, the anterior commissure. Uh, rhinencephalon, which is olfactory bulb and olfactory tract. Okay, so the rhinencephalon, we didn't really go over those regions. So another region we have is a rhinencephalon, which consists of the olfactory bulbs and the olfactory tract. Okay. The hippocampus. The hippocampus, hippo, hippo you need a frontal section of the brain, so we're going to skip that one. Okay. Diencephalon, the fornix. So we're in the diencephalon portion of the, the forebrain. So this is the diencephalon right here. So the fornix of the diencephalon is right below the lateral ventricle. So this would be the fornix right here. Epithalamus with penal body and habenula. So the penal body is this this little lump right here behind the ha the thalamus. Mm -hmm. So this is the the penal body, and okay. then the the what is it? The habenula. Uh, this membrane right. Here. This right. It's above the penal body, so this would be around here would be the habenula, or, or this part, or somewhere around there would be the habenula, and this is the penal body. Okay. 
the thalamus. So this is your thalamus portion right here. So this is your intermediate mass of the thalamus. And then the ovoid nuclear mass is from a frontal. From a frontal cut, yes. And the interventricular foramen. That I believe is from a frontal cut as well. Oh, okay. And is the third vent the third ventricle is above it? Yeah, the third ventricle is right okay. below the fornix and right above the thalamus. So this is the third ventricle right there. Right. The hypothalamus. The hypothalamus is right below the, the thalamus. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should do this. So this would be the hypothalamus right here. Okay. And the optic chiasma and optic track. So this right here is your optic chiasma. Mm -hmm. And right behind it right here, this would be your optic track. Okay. The median eminence. Median eminence, I believe, is this area right here, right before <laughs> it gets into the infundibulum uh, and then the mm. pituitary gland. Okay. Mammillary body. Your mammillary body would be this one right here, right above the pituitary gland. Okay. That's your mammillary body. Infundibulum. The infundibulum is this portion right here before it goes into the pituitary gland. Okay. And then the midbrain. And the midbrain is this portion right here above the pons and below the below the mammillary body. Okay, with the cerebral peduncles. Cerebral peduncles is this area right here. And the cerebral aqueduct. The cerebral aqueduct is this this uh, tract right here, which drains the la the third ventricle's uh, cerebral spinal fluid into the fourth ventricle. Okay. Cerebral aqueduct. And then the corpora quadrigemina. Corpora quadrigemina is behind the cerebral aqueduct. So the, mm -hmm. these right here would be the corpora quadrigemina. There's, there's four, so that's why it's called quadrigemina. Mm -hmm. And this one on above it is the superior colliculi, and the one below it is the inferior colliculi. And then the posterior commissure. The posterior commissure is right above, or right above the, or right below the penal body. So this would be the posterior commissure right there, joining the 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 penile body to the, the corporal quadrigemina. Okay. And then the hind brain. The hind brain is uh, from the pons to the cerebellum. That's the hind brain. We have this portion of the brain right here is the pons. Mm -hmm. uh, what else? The do we metencephalon have? with the cerebellum and the pons. The met oh yeah, metencephalon, uh, cerebellum, and the uh, we have the cerebellum right here. No, yeah? Cerebellum. Oh, the cerebellum. I'm sorry. This is the cerebellum right here. And the pons. And the pons. Right and then the cerebellar hemispheres, mm -hmm. the left and right. You so already showed us that. Yeah, them. left yeah. and right. And then the vermis connects the two. Vermis connects the two, which this right here would be the like middle the middle portion. Yeah. Okay. And then cere cerebellar folia. The fo cerebellar folia, just like we have the cerebral gyres, mm -hmm. uh, which are little folds in, this, in the brain, we have a cere cerebellum uh, folia, which are the little folds in okay. the cerebellum. And then ar arbor vitae. Arbor vitae right here is tree of life. Ten tentorium cerebelli I and transverse sinus. I believe we skipped the tentorium cerebellum, but the transverse sinus is somewhere uh, below the the joining right here of the uh, occipital lobe and the cerebellum. Okay, and then the transverse fissure is between the occipital lobe and the cerebellum? Yeah, this would be the transverse fissure right here. So is it just the crack? It's the name yeah, of the, 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 the space? Fissure, yeah, okay. the fissure. Just how we, like we have the longitudinal uh, cerebral fissure. Okay. This is your cer uh, tr your transverse fissure right there. Okay. Falk cere cerebelli? Falk cerebelli is a, a continuation of the duramater which goes in and divides the, the hemispheres of the brain. Okay. Is it? Okay. It's so it's, it's not... A con, it's a continuation uh, of the duramater that goes into in between the hemispheres and divides the... Uh, I believe um, that's what it is. Medulla oblongata mm -hmm. of the myelencephalon. So this portion of the brain now we're going into is the myencephalon. This is the medulla oblongata. Pyramids? The pyramids are these little kind of grooves on the medulla oblongata, mm -hmm. which we have right the here. Bumps. The bumps. And the fourth ventricle. The fourth ventricle is right behind it, so this would be the fourth ventricle right here. Right below the cerebellum. Right below the cerebellum. Cool. Do you need to know the choroid plexus? The cor I don't think you can see them, but I don't know, I don't know where, th I know you have one for each ventricle. So you have one for the the lateral. Uh, maybe frontal section. Maybe frontal cut. 
Or I know you can you can see it. each ventricle has one, so. Each ventricle has a choroid plexus? Yeah. And what's the cerebral arterial circle of Willis? That's a that's a group of uh, arteries that kind of meet up meet up in the brain and kind of do a circle before they start branching out into the posterior, anterior, and uh, medial arteries. Okay. The basal, basilar and internal carotid, okay, so those are all just... Yeah. How would he test us on those physically? He'd probably just have a, like a sheet. We'd need to identify them. Okay. All right. Thanks, Louise. That?